In today's video, we will join a local family for a Filipino birthday party here in Mindanao, Philippines' least visited island. We will experience Filipino hospitality. Hey. Oh, oh. Salamat. <laughs> Thank you very much. Try delicious local food. I'm wondering how can you eat this? And we are going to visit a village where people have never seen foreign tourists before. Who will get the point? Who will score? Oh. This is going to be a great travel experience. So how are Filipinos celebrating a birthday? And how is the life like in a rural village here in Mindanao? Let's find out. Feel free to join. We are somewhere in a beautiful location here. Have a look around. It looks very picturesque, very beautiful. The weather is nice. And we're going to have a little birthday party at this public pool here right now. So you can rent tables here. You can grill your own meat or fish. And that's what we're going to do as well. So yeah, this is a location here. You can hear in the background, some people are already singing karate. Okay, you can swim here. It is a cold spring, so it's all natural spring water coming from from somewhere over there. So we have a lot of yeah pools here, different pools. We're also going to jump in there later, of course. Check it out. And yeah, what a beautiful day! What a beautiful location! Ah, oh, I'm very excited. I'm so happy to be invited here today. I like experiences like this, joining the locals, experiencing the local life here. And yeah, I think the first mission is now to go over to the grills to get some squid and tuna on the grill. And actually we bought everything earlier on the local wet market here and I will show you some footage of that right now. Okay, we are on a local wet market now in the village trying to get some fish for the birthday party. Oh, that looks good. Hello. <laughs> oh, we have some seafood here already. We have squid here, we have little fish right here. It's uh, morning time now, so I guess most of the fish will be sold fresh in the morning. Are we getting this? Yeah, yeah, this one. This one? Okay, looks like we're actually getting two now. And the price is 350 per kilo. Oh, looks like we're also going to get some squid. How much is the squid here? 160 per kilo. 160 per kilo. What are you putting on top of there? Uh, this is magic syrup. Magic syrup. They like spices? Yeah. To adding flavor? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so there are public grill stations here which you can uh, rent. How much did you pay for this? It's free for oh, it's free. guests. Yeah. Ah, okay. So you have to pay entrance to uh, enter the facilities here. And then you can use the, the grill stations here. So we are going to uh, grill squid and tuna now. Yes, this is squid. And yeah. This is tuna panga. And this one is the belly. Tuna belly, okay, I think I'm going to like that a lot. And then in the background you can hear people uh, singing karaoke over there. Very popular in the Philippines, right? Yes. Yeah. So around 10 minutes later now and everything seems to be finished. Mm. So that looks pretty much done here. Oh, everything gets decorated now with balloons, yeah. happy birthday sign. Oh, nice. here on the table now so we have the squid and the tuna that we just grilled we have this look like spaghetti yeah, and we have spaghetti. hot dog sausages yeah, here no. we have a big cake of course and we have uh, chicken soup yeah of course and uh, noodles and rice as well and over there we have the uh, pig head which I'm very uh, curious I've never <laughs> tried something yeah. like this before I'm wondering how can you eat this we we steam it like or boil that yeah and then we fry it's not crispy this time. Ah, so there is actually meat. Okay. This one is the pig skin. Yeah. So you then can eat here, the skin, I guess. Yeah. Here, there is meat. As you can see, there is meat. Ah, there is actually meat. One okay. Oh. See? Ah, meat. yeah, yeah. Okay, what should I try first? The pig? Yeah. Actually, it looks like regular pig meat. Okay, so we have the face of the pig here. Skin. Very soft. But actually, it's very similar to regular pork meat I would say. So I would say this is actually very fatty and then we have the crispy skin around it. Oh, actually very good. Okay, I'm actually very curious to uh, try the tuna here. Fun fact, the best tuna I ever had in my life was actually also here in Mindanao last year when I visited Davao in southern Mindanao. I tried tuna up there and that was the best tuna yeah. of my life. So I'm really looking forward to the tuna here now. This is local tuna from here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mindanao tuna. Yeah, Mindanao tuna. Mm. Oh yeah. 
It's actually very similar to the one I tried in Davao. Very delicious. I would like to make a sandwich out of it. Putting this tuna on the, on the bread with like cheese oh, on yeah, top, yeah, some good. salad, like a tuna sandwich. Oh, because the meat is so delicious. And this is chicken from, from the village, right? Yes, or chicken. Chicken from your home? Yeah. Mm, you can taste that it. it's been cooked in a soup. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lots of flavors from the soup. Oh, also, also very the... delicious. <laughs> and the squid that we just grilled, yeah, there's a there's a charcoal flavor to it, so you can taste it's coming fresh from the grill. Okay, so after lunch we are pretty full now. Time to refresh ourselves in the cold waters here. So this is actually a cold spring. I have been to hot springs before, but not to cold springs. Oh, it is pretty cold. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, very cold. <laughs> Oh, but very refreshing. Oh, the current is getting very strong actually. Probably doesn't look like that on camera. But it, oh, it's actually very hard to walk against it here now. Oh, don't move. Don't move. No. You have a spider on your head. Spider? Oh, whatever it is. Put it on the rocks here. So it can survive. You know? <laughs> I mean, the chi, we call them balite. Balite? Yeah. What does it mean? Um, it's like um, they said that there's like unseen creatures living in there. Yeah. No, that's the belief in Filipino. So you think balite. it's a haunted tree? Yeah, something like that. Okay, so I have just been offered a red horse. Okay, and we do have big bottles, one liter bottles of red horse here. Extra strong, extra strong beer. How much alcohol is it? 6.9% of alcohol. So a little bit stronger than a regular beer. Ah, in the Philippines also you drink beer with ice cubes, right? Yes. <laughs> that's a sin in Germany. In Germany ah. that's not allowed. Because Germans are really proud of their beer. And if you mix the beer with ice cubes, then the beer gets watery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It loses the, the flavor of the, of the beer. So in Germany, never put ice cubes in your beer. Everyone will look at you very angry. <laughs> but I know in Asia it's pretty, pretty common. Oh. oh! Oh! wow, wow, wow! That's <laughs> Tagai? Like cheers? Yeah, cheers. Tagai! 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 <laughs> Salamat! Thank you very much! Okay, let's try Filipino Red Horse beer. I like it. It's not my first time trying this. It's good, it's good. <laughs> so we not only have uh, Red Horse beer here, we also have the Filipino Tanduay. Tanduay rum. Which is a uh, rum, yeah. Probably pretty strong. We have like, I don't know how many percentage of alcohol, but usually rum should be around 40. What age can you start drinking beer in the Philippines? 18. 18? In Germany it's 16 actually. 16? Beer, beer 16 and uh, like rum or hard alcohol, 18. But actually even if they're young, uh, as long as there's no uh, parents looking, you can drink. <laughs> uh, so some people start younger? Yes, yeah, some people uh, start younger. Same in Germany actually. Cheers. Okay. Oh, you finish in... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Finish everything in one go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's how we drink. Quick drinker here. <laughs> okay, I have been told I'm drinking too slow. Mm. I need to represent Germany here. <laughs> A very well-known country for drinking beer. So I can't be the slowest drinker here. <laughs> oh, you want to try the tuba tomorrow? Tuba. Yeah, tuba. Uh, wine. Yeah, we can try the tuba. Wine, uh, wine is wine. coconut. You want coconut ice? Wine. Yeah, you have more ice. Coconut wine. Coconut wine, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there was too much ice. <laughs> okay, it is late afternoon now. We're going back home. So everything is packed into the car. Okay, we have a vendor here in the village riding around with a motorbike and he was announcing something over the speaker. What was he saying on the speaker? Uh, what is that, Kuya? A binka? Bibinka. Yeah. Are you selling the binka? Selling binka. That's a cake, right? Like a sweet cake? Uh, rice cake. Rice cake, yeah. Oh. Rice cake. oh, let me see what you have here. Bibinka. Oh, how much is one piece? 10 pesos. 10 pesos for one piece. Oh, it's still warm. How many should we get for everyone? Uh, I don't know if they want to eat. What do you think? Uh, they want to eat? Maybe just five. How much? Five pieces? Yeah. Okay, can I get five pieces? Five? Ten pesos. 
So, so that's the 50 pesos 50 in total? 50 pesos. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, he has a big knife here. <laughs> what is he using this for? Para sa Looks like a mach machete. Yeah, machete. For going in the jungle. He's only selling bibinka or something only more? Only bibinka, ko ya. Bibinka, yes. Yeah. Yeah, only bibinka. And it's a uh, homemade? Yeah, uh, is that homemade? Or you. I... I'm sorry. Homemade, Rana. Shaki sa game mo ikaw. Sa mercado, ma'am. Ah, he bought it in the market and then sells. Oh. Yeah. So he is buying it in the market and then he riding he around, around to around. selling it to the homes. Yeah. So he's selling it for 10 pesos. So I guess he maybe buys it for five or six. So then because he charge a little bit extra to make some money, of course. Yeah. Also, um, for like gasoline. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, of course. He needs to make some money. Can Can you put, turn on the speaker? I want to hear the speaker again. Because that's how I got uh, curious about it. Oh. Well, what is it saying? Rice cake. Yeah. Ah, rice cake, 10 pesos. Okay, okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Riding around the village, selling some rice cake. Very good. Salamat. Thank you. <laughs> and just like that, we bought some rice cakes. Okay, so Bibinka, a very popular rice cake here in the Philippines. I actually tried it also last year already when I was here. And I remember it was really, really delicious. And this one is very warm still, maybe even too warm to eat. So what is inside? Just it's rice flour. Rice and I guess they use a coconut. Coconut. Coconut milk. For coconut water. milk and yeah. sugar probably. Yeah. Okay. It's really good. good. It's not too sweet. Yes. That's I, I don't like it if it's too sweet. Mm, this one is perfect. And actually quite big. Look how huge it is for just 10 pesos. That's a good price, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now we can share it with everyone. Everyone can try. Okay, we are exploring the village a little bit now. So we have a yeah, little village here, some houses here, some houses here. And it feels almost like we are in the middle of a huge uh, coconut field because there are literally coconut trees everywhere here. Hello, hello. <laughs> what are they making there? That's uh, you, put uh, you put rice. Can I see? Oh, yeah. oh thank you. Oh. What is it? Is it like like a like a leaf, right? Yeah, coconut And then leaf. she she makes it like this. Yes. Like oh, that looks very very skillful. And then you put rice inside yes. and cook it. Cook it and yeah. boil. Oh. It. oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, salamat po. <laughs> Thank you very much. So uh, she sells this. I think so. Uh, for the church. Oh, she gives it to the church. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how long does it take to make one? Just a few seconds, I guess. Just a few seconds? Yeah, or probably oh. a minute for one. We are trying to find a bridge, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's a little river here with a bridge that she would like to show me. Oh, you have a little shop here as well? Yes. So we can buy some some snacks, some drinks, some basic supplies here. I like your village. Yeah. Looks very good. I like it here, yeah. Let's have a look at the bridge here in the village. Oh yeah. Is it safe to go? Oh, actually, it's pretty stable. Just that I'm not sure if the floor will hold my weight. Okay, it's actually pretty safe. Hello, hello. Oh, they're washing yeah. dishes here. Yeah. Ah. So is this uh, clean spring water? Yes, yes. Yeah, right? They actually drink this water. Oh, you can drink it? Yeah. I guess not many foreigners come here. No, you're the first one. I'm the first one here, yeah. That was my guess. Hello, hello. Kamusta? Oh, you have goats here. Oh, can I see the goat? Oh, oh hello, hello, hello. Oh, they have little baby goats here. Check it out. Oh, <laughs> oh, and baby chickens over there. Oh, look how big the the chicken is over there. Where's the big one? Have a look at the the big one over there. That's the big boss. Oh, is this a fighting chicken? No fighting. No for fighting, okay. Yeah, sometimes in rural Philippines, uh, the chickens are also used for fighting. Why is the house uh, elevated like this? So is, the, it, is it the a flooding area here? I guess so, yeah. What's the name of your house? It's a tail-tail. It's a tail-tail. It's a tail-tail. Yeah, for flood. Ah, sometimes the, the river is yeah. over flooding? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. So yeah, then it's obviously smart to have the house built on stilts like this. So when there's a flood coming, then the actual house is not affected. The male chicken the is, male the, partner of all the, is the partner of all the females. Yeah. What a life. 
<laughs> so he's the father of all the baby chickens here. Can I brought? Here we go. Ah, okay. Collecting subscribers here in the village. Thank you very much. Salamat. Yeah, nice to meet you. Bye bye. Bye bye. It's very interesting for me because obviously this is so different to compared to what I'm used to in a German village. I uh, grew up in a village in Germany. I spent most of my life in a village. But uh, yeah, the villages in Southeast Asia in general are of course very different to uh, German villages. So it's always very interesting for me to see these villages here, you know? A very nice travel experience to be somewhere completely off the beaten path away from the tourist destinations. Hello, hello. <laughs> Let's see how they can play. Let's see, who will, who will get the point? Who will score? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's a good game here. Oh, <laughs> I have the impression here that it is simple life out here in the village, but I have the impression that people here are very happy. It's a simple but a happy life. Whenever I am in these villages, and if you are a follower on my channel for a long time, you know I have visited villages like this in other countries as well, like Thailand, Malaysia, wherever I travel to. And every time I visit villages like this, I always have the impression that the life there is a happy life. You know, it's a simple life. And I don't mean simple in a negative way, but a happy life. People are always smiling, friendly, the kids playing around, you know. So that is always very interesting and nice for me to see. Very interesting day here in the province for me. Thank you to you and your family for inviting me today. Very nice Filipino hospitality. Thanks a lot. We're happy that you experienced this life yeah. we have here. I'm also very happy about it. And yeah, guys, she also has a YouTube channel, Filipina Life, where yes. she uh, films also travel and vlogs and also vlogs from, from the village life. So if you want to check it out as well, Filipina Life is her channel. And if you haven't seen my previous video from the provinces here, then check it out right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.